What is going on everybody? Today I wanted to do a roster review of my characters before tier 4. So this video's purpose is to just show you all kind of what I am doing to get ready for tier 4. I already posted two videos about what to do before tier 4 so I'm going to be kind of showing an example of how I do it. Alright, let's get started with my first character, the Arcanist, Reginald Blue Card. So let's go in here and I will skip to the profile. All right, so we are back. Here is my Arcanist's profile. So you'll notice she is 1630. I do have two 1630 accounts. No worries if you only have one. No worries if you don't have any. The bar to get to tier four is item level 1620. As long as you're getting to 1620, that's all that matters. Now, my character is 1630, not because of regular homes, but because of advanced homes. So if you can do advanced homes, this will set your character apart from many other characters, right? Like, for example, I have, I mean, we'll look at these later on as well. But my striker, my deathblade, these are 1620 characters that have done zero advanced honing. So my Arcanist will have an easier time getting into raids. That's not to say the 1620s won't have a hard time getting to raids. They'll just have to play with the other 1620s. Okay, so I have done all of my advanced honing, level 10, level 10, level 10, on everything. I also have 40 set elixir. That's very important to do. I also have the level 7 transcendence on all my pieces for a total of 102 flowers out of 105. You only need a minimum of 100, so do not panic if you don't have 102 or 105 or whatever. Just try to get the maximum transcendence you can, or at least for 1630, you should be at minimum 100 flowers with 40 set. In terms of gems, I worked hard to get uh, an additional level 10 gem on this character. The gem prices are super cheap, and I also have a bunch of level 9s floating around, so I... You know, I merged them together to pray for a level 10, and luckily I did. So I got a level 10 damage gem on top of my two existing ones. This is because when tier 4 hits, uh, I know I said some misinformation about the thresholds about whether you should convert damage, tier, uh, damage level 10 gems into tier 4. You should do it if your damage skill is less than around 27% or so, but the number that is usually being thrown out is 25%. So, just clear everything up. If you have a damage skill that does less than 25% of your total damage, convert that to level 8 tier 4 gem. Otherwise, keep it at a tier 3 level 10 gem. Are we clear? Cooldown. Make sure you are converting all of these. There's no excuse. Get them all converted. So that's what I'm planning on doing on this character. I, so the gems here are relatively done. I'll probably have to upgrade this level 7 to a 9 at some point. But, but not really an issue at the current moment. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of what a basic 1630 character should look like. Now, let's move on to Striker. So I'll pause again for Striker's profile. All right, everyone, we are back with the Striker. So this is one of my long-term alts that I've had. You know, I have a love and hate relationship with this character. So what I did was, you know, sometimes I like it. So you get to be pushed to 1620. And I actually used the Super Makoko Express Pass on this character. Now, the, the Super Makoko Express Pass isn't shown anymore. Uh, I guess it the deadline is gone. But... That is how I push this to character to 1620. So with this character, let's see its gear. Obviously, any character that is 1620 and up should have 40 set. You must have 40 set. But on something different you'll see is for Transcendence. I'm not 1630, so I cannot do hard mode Thaymine, which unlocks the level 7 Transcendence. The maximum Transcendence you can do is level 3. So in this case, I did level 3, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, see, so for example, I didn't do Transcendence on this one. This is something I have to work towards. 
I want to get level 3 transcendence on everything. That's the max for a 1620 character. Now, are people going to be picky and being like, Oh my god, you have a level 2 transcendence, not a level 3? You're getting rejected! No, of course not. You probably won't have a problem with that. I just want to do that just so I'm prepared, so I don't forget. And when I get to 1630, or actually 1640 with the tier 4 gear, you know, I'll be doing hard mode they mine and it, whoop, jumping all the way to level 7 instantly. So that's kind of the plan here. So maximize the elixirs, maximize the transcendence. Something from my part 2 video is selling accessories. So unfortunately, some of these accessories didn't sell, but I've actually sold some accessories. If you see here, uh, probably here, you know, like I've, I've sold some decent chunks. Uh, and this is just for one character. I've obviously sold others on other characters as well. But please do that because accessories are becoming obsolete. Uh, other than that, pretty standard stuff. Here, I'm just using the event gems given from the power pass. But I have to prepare for tier 4 and make sure that I have some gems available for this class as well. I do have, you know, two level 9s and a level 10 gem on this. So I'm pretty decent in terms of getting invited because most people will love seeing level 10 gems. That's why I have a level 10 gem on all my alts other than Berserker, but that I have another story for Berserker. Any other alt that I have, I do slap on a level 10 gem just so I prevent myself from getting gate kept, but also because I like doing more damage. Simple as that. So that's the story behind Striker. This is kind of the setup you want for a 1620 character. Okay, we can move on to Shadowhunter, which is 1610. And I will pause again for its profile. All right, on to the Shadowhunter. So you probably are wondering, why is this not 1620? Shouldn't you go to 1620 to get to tier 4? Well, yeah, but I am waiting for the next kind of Super Makoko Express Pass or whatever pass that they give us for this character in particular. I see it not as necessary to push this character to 1620 and waste hundreds of thousands of gold only for me to get a pass that could have done this in half the amount. Right? I already have a ton of characters that will be pushing to tier 4. There is no need to rush. That is one of my biggest advice that I give is do not FOMO. And I'm not going to FOMO. Even though I love the Hyper Awakening for Shadowhunter, I love Shadowhunter, and I want to push the Shadowhunter, I'm going to take it slow and wait for the pass. So it's up to you if you want to do the same, but that is why I am 1610. Now, as a 1610, what should you have? Well, you have access to uh, normal Thaemine, so you should have some Transcendence, but you do not have access to hard uh, Voldus which is Legendary Elixirs. So, as you would expect, I only have a 35 set. Now, if you don't even have 35 set on a 1610 character, perfectly fine. I just seemingly know how to cut Epic Elixirs, so I have 35 set on all my characters on Epic Elixirs. No idea how I got so lucky with Epic Elixirs. Maybe I'm just good at it, selecting the right ones, but... I do have 35 set on everything. Anyways, even if you don't have 35 set elixir, all good. But I'm currently trying to build transcendence on this character as well, slowly but surely. And now you're wondering, well, why do you only have you know level two here and level one here? It's because I'm slowly doing it. I don't have the uh, what is it fires to continue doing it. If I had the fires, I would have, of course. But this character was just freshly upgraded to 1610. And now I'm going to take it easy, wait for the pass to hone it to 620. I'll get the legendary elixirs, get the 40 set, and continue pushing for, um, you know, level 7 transcendence once I get to tier 4. There's no rush. But anyways, this is what a 1610 character for me would look like. Uh, everything I mentioned here, 
you know, in terms of gem, like I said, I always put a level 10, especially on a transformation character. I have a level 10 gem. One thing that does change is that for transformation classes, we do need level 7 cooldown gems for all our skills. So I'm probably going to be using these for now. And then, you know, no need to transfer over to tier 4 yet. Um, that, that will be a conversation that we'll have later on. All right. Now we can move on to the Berserker. And then uh, again, I will pause, get to Berserker's profile. All right. So we talked about what a character should be doing and what it should be looking at at 1630, what it should be looking at at 1620, and what it should be looking at at 1610. Now we are at 1600. So my Berserker is 1600 item level, my lowest on my roster for a good reason. And the reason is it's being replaced, unfortunately. I am not a huge fan of its Hyper Awakening. I'm not a fan of its uh, tier four arc passives. I'm not a fan of everything to do with Berserker. I also put this in one of my videos about mistakes I've made this is one of them. I have spent hundreds of thousands of gold on this character, building him raw. Yes, raw from tier 1 all the way to tier 3. I built him raw because I thought I would like the class. And don't get me wrong, I like the class sometimes. But it's just not worth the trouble. It's too clunky and it just seems like there's no vision for this character. At least for now. So, it is eventually getting replaced. Now... I'm not going to be using the Supreme Makoko Express Pass for a new character just yet. Again, that's going to be reserved for the Shadow Hunter. But if there's something like the Voldus Pass or something like that, that's when I will bump one new character to replace the Berserker. Uh, but anyway, for a 1600 character, again, if you're lucky like me, you will have 35 set using Epic Elixirs. If you don't, all good. You shouldn't even have Transcendence because you can't even access Transcendence. This character is just meant to kind of funnel you some gold so you can give it to your mains or other characters that are super close to 1620. This character will not be touched. No honing for this guy, unfortunately. So, as you can see, I am using the solo mode gems on this character. Don't care about him. He can go die in a hole. That's just simple. Okay. Let's move on to the Deathblade. And this one will be really quick because it is 1620 and that is very similar to my Striker. So I'll pause again for Deathblade. All right, so we are on the Deathblade. So just like the Striker, what you should be having is at 1620, 40 set elixir. Again, this is a major priority. If you are 1620 and above, Please get that 40 set elixir. You will get gate kept if you do not have 40 set elixir. There are many ways of getting legendary elixirs. Um, use those to get it. Otherwise, so one thing that's different is you'll notice that I have a lot more level twos on this character. Again, I'm a little lazy, so that's the reason why I haven't pushed it. But nobody's going to scream at you for not having level three. I mean, some people might, right? But for the most part, Level 2 is efficient, and I don't care about this character as much, so it's left at level 2. So it's up to you. If you like your character, of course, push to level 3. If not, you know, stick with level 2. If you seem to be getting gate kept a lot, then maybe try to push for level 3. Anyways, everything else is the same, you know. Uh, actually have engraving support on this character, because I just don't can't be bothered. Uh, but as... as Similar to the Striker, I have one level 10 gem. Otherwise, everything else is event gems. I don't really care. Right? As long as I have the level 10 gem, especially on Surge, you'll be fine. Okay, let's quickly move on to our last character. The Soul Eater, the highest item level on my roster. And it is my main. So again, we will pause and I'll show you all my profile. All right, so slightly different. From my 1630 Arcana, even though yes, they are both 1630, you will notice that I pushed a little bit more on my main. 
yes, uh, my main is not as grand as other people's, but I don't spend a lot of money on this game, so we're stuck with this. Okay, so why do I have 2.5 item levels more? Well, it's because of this. So in my first video of how to prepare your characters for tier 4, I mentioned that you should probably push for a plus 22 weapon before you transfer over to tier 4. The reason behind it is the shards. Your shards are going to be useless in tier 4. That is why I decided to use up most of my shards, and actually I didn't even touch it that much, but I tried to use a lot of the shards to get to plus 22. And then I got it. So now we are good. Otherwise, everything else is the same as the Arcana. Everything else is kind of plus 19 gear with the level 10 advanced honing. Again, if it's your main, please do your advanced honing on all of your gear level 10 to get to 1630. On top of that, Transcendence. In this case, I only have 100 flowers. But that's enough. That's all you need for level 7 Transcendence. So this character, just like the Arcana, has level 7 Transcendence. And it also has the legendary Elixir 40 set. Make sure you get that. Other than that, everything else is the same. I have a lot more level 10 gems on this character versus my Arcana. But it's because it's my main, so that's the reason why. So my plan here is my Guillotine does a significant amount of damage, like over 30% of my total damage. My Vestige is kind of like 27-ish, 28. So it's kind of on that cutoff. So I'm going to keep Guillotine and Vestige as tier 3 and then I will convert Reaper Scythe and all my other cooldown gems and Astro's damage gem to tier 4. That's my plan. Anyway, that's my 6 roster. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, I would love it if you guys subscribed to this channel and give it a like so I know that you guys are liking the tier 4 content. Otherwise, thank you all for watching this video. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.